This short film presents two functional models of water turbines usable for bidirectional flows. Both models are equipped with passive blade control means to adapt blade characteristics to the momentum of flow. The first model shown is a tiny self-starting Wells turbine. What you see is a repeller design with four blades, each comprising two segments. There is a crescent-shaped front segment connected to the axis with a pivot bearing, while the end segment is rigidly affixed to the free outer blade ring. A hinge interconnects the two segments and acts as a second linkage for the combined actuation movement. Movements occur passively in dependence of the fluid flow. Shifting the end segment turns the front segment. This combination changes the three most important aspects which define the fluid dynamic characteristics of a blade. Pitch, camber and twist. The change of twist is actually accomplished by a decline of the hinge line. Let's have a look at how this mechanism works and plunge the thing into water. Move it down and move it up. As you can see, it is self-starting and the turbine has a defined rotational direction. And that's how continued operation looks. Major applications of this turbine would be in tidal stream power plants or wave energy harvesting. It can fully replace the ineffective Wells turbine in OWC power plants or be hung under point absorber buoys, directly driving electrical generators housed in the buoys. Passive blade control can also easily be achieved in Darius type turbines with little mechanical means. What you see here is a functional model of a three bladed Darius type water turbine. The blades are cut into two segments connected by a hinge. The front segments are pivoted at the radial spokes. The end segments are connected to the blade ring surrounding the axis. Since the blade centrifugal forces compensate mutually, just the directed forces of the flow have effect on the blades. Actuation of the end segment adjusts pitch and camber in the desired way. Let's have a look at what happens when this model is exposed to a flow. It shows self-starting behaviour and easily manages all directional changes. Just like the horizontal design, the vertical design is applicable to either air or water type rotors. This approach could transform renewable wind, tidal and wave energy harvesting. Contact us if you're interested in more detailed information about possible usage, partnership or licensing.